Good afternoon and salutations. My name is Calypso, and welcome to Shoujo Kageki Review Starlight, the movie. Now, before we talk about this, if you're wondering where Shoujo Kageki Review Starlight, the anime, is, I've already seen it. I saw, I saw it before I had the channel and the stuff to do the channel. Um, so it is what it is. I did live blog it on my Tumblr, so I think there's a link in like my the YouTube bio. I, I'm pretty sure, but um, yeah, Mint Carousel. Um, yeah. Um. So, so you can. I think I tagged it with like Webstar Live Blog or Review Starlight Live Blog. I'm not sure. I really should at some point organize that and have a, like a, a wheel pinned post that's like, here's all the stuff I did, here's a, here's like links to all the stuff, and oh Jesus, okay. Oof. Hope I don't focus out, focus in a lot in the, during the movie, but um, anyway, um, I don't think I can go through really go through all my thoughts about this show um I can give you some idea what I what I think of it though um unless I'm forgetting something which would be very bad of me I think <laughs> unless Unless it's called Symphogear, I have not watched or I have not reacted to or or live blogged an anime as good as Review Starlight. I it simply hasn't. Unless you're with Symphogear, Review Starlight is the best anime I've ever live blogged or reacted to. So like I I live blogged Flip Flappers, great show, not as good as Review Starlight. I uh, uh, um um. Noir also live vlogged. Uh, Princess Principal also live vlogged. Those movies are coming up too, so um, pretty soon. Um, oh yeah, right. This this is a movie. We're doing something weird. Um, uh, now that I've pared everything down to just two reactions, and also live streams are going to be coming back probably next week. Um, eh, maybe tomorrow, actually. Well, anyway. Um, now nah, we'll save it for um we'll save it for Monday yeah uh, anyway uh yeah so um and then like as obsessed with katana maidens as I am right now um it's more like it desperately deserves more attention than it got than it has and it like it's. I don't know. It just it it, it it just it just is. It's um if I'm gonna be honest, Katana made this is a solid B. Um uh g very good. Maybe an maybe an A, but it's exposition is is kinda clunky. But it doesn't really honestly doesn't take that a, a lot to parse through it, to be honest. And that's basically it. Um, but yeah, um, Revy Starlight is an amazing show. I personally rank it as an A, whereas something like Symphogear is an S, and that's, for my own personal ranking, A, sh a shows and S shows are, like, comparable, are comparable in, like, technical quality. Uh, I as per my own vision of its quality, you know, it's everything is subjective, but there's a tint of sub subjectivity here, but, um, S pulls, like, <clears throat> touches something in my heart that just, like, is different, and so, like, oh, fuck, of course, yeah, no, I, I forgot one. Yeah, I'm dumb. 
I can't. Fl I forgot that I reacted to it. <laughs> there is something that I liked more than Review Starlight, all of, um, for now, and that's Bochi the Rock. Bochi the Rock is an S. It touched my heart. It's yeah. Fuck. I forgot about shit. I knew. I knew. I and I knew if I would for, if if I if I was gonna forget it like if I when I remember it it was like <clears throat> or recalled it it was like. I'm gonna be mad at myself now. I can't believe I forgot about Bochi the Rock. I even just saw a cute cosplay of Kikuri, and it was just like, how did I forget this? This is this is this is, oh god, um, god, unsubscribe. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, eh? don't know what to do with you, um. Yeah, huge chance for Review Starlight with this movie to jump up to S. Um, ooh, I also want to say favorite characters. Um, I would probably say favorite character is Mahiru. Um, she is me. Um, that's about it. I also really like Juna. Juna's a character a character archetype that I usually really like, but um and then I think other favorite would probably be Nana. Um and that's pretty much my top three. Nana and Juna might be just tied for a second. I like all the other characters, I like all of the other characters, but not as much as these three. Really not as much as Mahiru. Anyway, I think I think it's time. Um, <laughs> this movie's two hours long. I have no idea how long my recording can like if there's anything I I, I have to worry about, so I'll be periodically checking um, OBS and hoping. <laughs> I don't know if, if yeah. Well. We'll see, won't we? Huh. <sighs> Alright. Goodness, this is gonna be a long... reaction. Actually, I think I'm gonna eat first. Yeah. Yeah, it's already two. Uh, I think that's gonna be four until I can... Yeah, no, I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna watch, so... Um... Yeah, uh, next, uh, uh, yeah, next, but first, um, I'd like to thank my patron, Malehi, for supporting the channel, and if you would like to also support the channel, uh, there are links to Patreon and Kofi in the description. <coughs> um, also, this might attract new viewers, so let me also say that, um, you can, if you do a recurring donation, you can get your name shouted out in the middle of the video. Um, of every video until you pull the donation um, or you can do a one time donation through Kofi um, uh, um, to get one special shout out of either the next thing I record or the next thing I record of the series if you're choosing and that's about it um uh, also, um, this is a redirect, um, so there's gonna be a screen that says to go into the description, there's gonna be a link to place, and, um, <laughs> that place will have the reaction. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it. Welcome to the channel, I hope you stay for other stuff um you know check out my Bochi the Rock reaction if you haven't seen it already I am watching currently watching um Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury um <coughs> finished Katana Mains but no one knows Katana Mains so I don't watch Katana Maidens and then come back and watch my reaction anyway um <laughs> and then I also finished season one of New Game and I'm also currently watching AKB Infinite 48. Um, which, let me just say really quickly, has the potential of being an S. 
It really does. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, so does, like, it's weird. I, I'm pretty sure, so far, Gundam, Gundam, which is the better story, better structured, better tech, te on a technical level, but I don't, I, I'm not feeling S from it. It's not touching my heart like AKB is right now. Which is weird, but, you know, it is what it is. But this is about Review Starlight, um, which I want to watch now. Well, I have to eat first because I'm hungry. But, um, yeah, so. Right. Uh, so if you follow the link to the, to, to the reaction, uh, the next time you see, uh, the next time you see me, um, I will be full of spaghetti. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so what happens next? Right? I'm going to bet in the writer's room that when they knew they were going to make a movie, Someone in the writing team, on the writing team, in the first, in, in the brainstorming set, first brainstorming session, someone asked, okay, what happens next? And then they were all like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, go through all everything here because there's so it's there's so much it's not just long it's like dense the crux of it is their relationships relationships to each other and to the stage, of course. But you can't make a stage without other people. It's really about their relationships. Literally, they just got couples counseling <laughs> from an extra-dimensional being that looks like a giraffe. Actually, I don't know what the fuck the giraffe was on. I, that... He kind of just burned up like a meteor... Ooh, like a shooting star. Yeah? Fuck, okay. Hold on. Is there something there, or am I just bullshitting that? Um, okay. Oh, that was right. That, that last thing he said was the first and last time he said Wakarimasu in this, in this movie. Was that, that one? Yeah, that one. What was the first fight? It was Nana versus everyone except Hikari and Kaden, right? They're like... No, I have n <sighs> Literally do not understand that one. At all. I, I, I have no read on it. it. I don't know what she was doing. I...
like questioning their motivation to be on the stage to go to the next stage and proving that they none of them have the conviction for it yet i don't know if that's right though that doesn't feel i don't know if it feels wrong but it feels incomplete um I think the next one's Futaba and Kauruko. It was funny that Claudine was there and just kind of like, that was, that was really funny. <sighs> what do I have to say about them? Uh, they are so obsessed with each other. <laughs> like it's, Holy shit, they realize that they can part, but still be together. That's basically what they did. And that's, um, sweet. Listen, I can't believe they perfect. Hold on, that's Futaba. Hold on. Futaba. Kaoruko. Then it was. Well, actually, then it was Mahiru and. Uh, not cotton. Mm. Mahiru and and um Hikari that okay so that's no I'm counting yeah, them, them too and then it was and then it was Nana and um, Juna, and then it was, did my camera on the right? Fuck. Okay, there's Futaba, Karuko, Hikari, Mahiru, Nana, Juna, um, Claudine, Maya, Karin, Hikari. All right, five, there's five. I want to say, um, oh, oh, um, I can't believe they perfected the homoerotic fight scene five times in the same movie. Um, yeah, yeah. Some of them, they're not right for each other right now and they need to take a break. That is, and that's su su such that, like, Futaba and Karuko have to understand what they want and need from each other. And also have to understand that they are getting what they want from each other, which is really spicy. Um... I'm skipping over Mahiru and, and Hikari because that's a different thing. Um, um, fuck. Um, who, okay, hold on. Um, Juna and Nana. Feels like they're realizing that they're not right for each other right now but they still care and love each other deeply, but they part ways because they're, they, they can't give each other what they, what they, what they, what they want or need. I don't know if there's, if there's a difference. Okay. Cotton, not cotton, cotton's <laughs> Hikari. See, whenever we want to say Hikari, I want to say cotton with her name. Cause it's like, you know, cotton Hikari. Um, but no, um, Hikari Mahiru. I don't know, kind of gay? I don't know, there's... There, I, I mean, I, I, I always ship them, but only because I wanted Mahiru to be happy and just have... I want Mahiru to have a harem. <laughs> but actually, like, for real, like... 
there was some tenderness and there was some care and I mean I'm grasping at so little here but I don't think she's giving up cotton I really don't that's not what's happening here I can't explain I I'm gonna have to I'm, oh how many times am I gonna am I going to rewatch this movie oh my god <sighs> okay um Claudine and Maya realizing that, like, what they have is what they want forever, but also, like, there, there's this little hint that it's, like, the understand that it's not actually being rivals that is their relationship. I did say married, <laughs> and then when they were, like, when they said some lines about being together forever. Oh my god. Okay. Hikari Karen. These were all about breaking away from obsessions. Wait, are they? No, especially Karen Hikari. Like, oh, he got you running away, and like, oh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what to say about the giraffe, by the way. I already talked about this, or, or said this, but I don't, I don't understand him at all. Apps, I I cannot get enough of the the whole um the uh the imagery in this movie, like mm. like how visceral, yeah, it's visceral. Was it a tomato? Is it because people throw tomatoes at performers they think are bad? Do they pick it up and eat it and it gives them nourishment? Or was it more like eat eat of the fruit and now you're trapped here? And, and both? I don't know. Yeah, maybe both. Okay. I think probably fuck I don't know who my favorite character is now they all skyrocketed for me every single one of them I don't know what to
Not sure what else to say. Um. Oh, fuck. The music. Fuck. God. Okay, hold on. The fucking music was incredible. I... There were so, so many, like... Like, genre... Sort, sorts of genre that is, like... I'm really into. Futaba and Kaoriko's song was, like... Yeah, this is the type of music that I like. This one right here. And oh my god, fucking. <sighs> Mahiru's song. Good god. Actually, I think those are two, two of the highlights. Nana singing the first song. This one sung by Nana. Nana's singing just, um. Well, it hits different. I can't really express more than that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, it's... Fuck, okay, I'm thinking. Um, fuck, okay. Give a hero a trial, give a saint a temptation, and at the same time, give me you. Both of those, the first two are things you overcome. So they have to overcome each other. Get a room, sluts. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they have to overcome each other, but also... The hero and his trials are inseparable because everyone comes back to the story to see the, not just the hero but the trial. The saint and the temptation same way. You cannot have one without the other. They they literally can't be apart because you know because they're in love and they like they're like They are also deeply in love, actually. Damn. Um. <sighs> Sorry, I was just thinking about the movie that exists with that title. Never seen it. Um. Anyway, um. Don't find you. Um. <sighs> now. self-indulgently do I think budding romance between Hikari and Mahiru yes and then they're, they're poly with Karen yes I, I, I believe this is this is this is the case actually it's funny that it implies that Karen and Mahiru have like have their shit settled already before this all happened that's really funny to think about <laughs> like no they're good they're solid Sol solid foundation uh, for, for, for their relationship everything is great there <laughs> no therapy needed <laughs> um, but anyway the three of them are, not, are, 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 are gonna live together one day and um, it's gonna be very very sweet the fuck do I want to talk about now? Uh, just, it's all over the place. Of course, it's all over the place. I, this is this movie uh, broke me. Um, oh yeah. Um, obviously, this is an S now. Fucking uh, holy shit! Like it was like teetering. Like honestly, I have no idea why it wasn't an S before. What the fuck was I thinking?
I've performed on stage too. Um, I had a lot of fun. I started in high school. Um, let's see, did did a play called Harvey, which is about a guy who says that he sees a giant rabbit um, and everyone thinks he's crazy. I think that's what it was about, but Harvey's real. Harvey's the rabbit, by the way. I played um, the director, the like head doctor of the of the mental hospital. I think they call it insane asylum, unfortunately, but the mental the mental hospital. Um Dr. Chumley. <laughs> um and that was my first role. That was fun. I <laughs> There was this one part where I start seeing the rabbit too, or my character does, and it like It like breaks me and I make this choice um, and this is like I want to say junior year of high school yeah junior year of high school I make this choice where I go through I go through a door and just I don't and I'm the one who stays, says my line next so I just hold it and like I'm, I'm just like and I just like freak out and um Actually, I wonder, am I misremembering this? But I, I think, I think the first night of the performance, I did that because I was trying to remember my line, but it ended up working. So we, I, so I put it in, um, on purpose the next, the next two nights or next night. I don't remember how many, how many nights this ran. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, I say there were three more in high school. There was a th th then there was a then there was a musical. I think that one was, I think that was one was Little Shop of Horrors. I was like ensemble and a lot of background things, um, but I was also skip snip in that one little song. So I, I had my one little one little moment. Um, I don't have strong feelings about the producer guy. Or the doctor guy, but it, they were fun. I liked it. And then, oh, senior year was weird. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, it was um, the play. The fuck was the musical? What musical did we do? Oh, that sucks. Okay, no, no, no we'll get there. Hold on. The play was um. The Brothers Grimm Spectacular Thon. It was a un yet an yet another mishmash of fairy tale things. I was narrator number two and and uh yeah I was just the narrator and it was really fun. Um this character was very extravagant and outlandish and kind of loud and boorish and it was fun to be to be like that. Um like, the first fucking line that I, that I have is a uh, audio audio warning okay first fucking line is Sunday 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 sorry about that <clears throat> yeah fucking <laughs> did it did it perform on Sunday I have no idea but um Fuck, why did I do that? Ah! Oh, that's, that felt good, actually. No, but, um, okay, so, like, the spring musical, though, because there was, there was, there was, there was always for each semester, there was a fall play and the spring musical. Strangely enough, never did Spring Awakening for the spring musical. 
or the Spring Awakening play, because it's also a play. Anyway. Anyway, Senior Year Spring Musical was this bullshit, like, this really bullshit, um, What am I thinking? Anthology, like, vignette scene things, and not a structured story. And listen, I have no memory of it or doing it at all. I have no recollection of what I personally did. Because they gave the emotional climax of it To someone else and I know for a fact I would have been better at it because I read it in class and I was better at it in class reading it from it than she was on the stage sorry yeah I still pissed about that college auditioned for Avenue Q in college for the college thing, uh, for college play, did not get in. Fast forward a little bit. I get, I get antsy for the stage again. And then I'm like, okay, want to audition for the next play. Really don't think I can pull off a musical at this, at this stage, because I don't think I can sing and act at the at that level here anymore but i can st i can still just act so next play and it is macbeth uh i was the thane of ross and that was my favorite that that's my favorite performance i've ever done because the director gave me a direction yeah it, it happens sometimes um that he is like um here's the words she used for it Thane of Ross has the gift of gab he loves talking loves hearing his own voice he's very f well I read it as flamboyant so I just made him gay um and I don't know if this came if this came, came across in my acting because I didn't because I'm also really scared of overstepping boundaries with people even the even if we're both on the same stage he was also in love with Macduff so that was a thing um and then the director had the audacity to 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 assume that the scene with Thane of Ross and Macduff's wife was supposed to um like was supposed to um was supposed to show that they were like having an affair i i wasn't i wasn't putting that i, I wasn't putting that energy into in, into that but like you know death of the performer i guess you know that's funny I actually stopped the recording instead of pausing at that time, so I'll have to make sure I do four of them instead of three. Oh well. So anyway, as I was saying, fucking... <laughs> um... That was very fun. That was the last play I've been in. And you know what? I want to be in, in another so bad. I, I'm just like I'm just like these girls. I, I I need I need to perform again, like. I need to audition for a local acting a local theater troupe or something like this is just. <sighs> yeah. I am, I am a stage girl.
and I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, comment if you have anything to say, and subscribe for more videos. There's a Patreon and a Ko-fi linked in the description if you want to support me. And with all that being said, this has been Shoujo Kageki Review Starlight, the movie. I've been Calypso, and I'm signing out. Have a wonderful rest of your day.